Josh Allen here from Bucks Report. I'm with undrafted safety Javon Hagen. Um, welcome to the Buccaneers, obviously. And uh, just want to congratulate you on signing with the Buccaneers. And uh, how do you think not having a pro day affected your draft process? And an undrafted free agent, what drew you to Tampa? Um, during this whole pre-draft process, it was definitely crazy for not only me, but a lot of athletes. Um, not being able to showcase their hard work throughout the pre-draft process. I uh, performed. I went to perform in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and was working with them from January to about mid-March. And uh, I was eager to show the scouts, you know, what I off of um, off of the field as far as film, you know, because they knew they knew I could play. I've been a, I've been a um, all max selection for four years straight, so the ability to make plays was definitely there, and they knew that it was definitely boxes that needed to be checked as far as the hips, how my hips were moving, and um, how fast I would, you know, they want to see my speed. And also during the pre-job process, I was focusing on. Uh, Making sure I was in the best position as possible. Yeah. You know, taking little things, being on a lean diet, you know, and uh, dropping a little bit of a little bit of unnecessary weight. Yeah. So uh, I did pretty good on that. I was working with uh, Tevin Allen, who was a great um, DB specialist. He was definitely um, getting my hips more more looser when it comes to coming out of my breaks and things like that. And when we're working drills, that they were working the combine as well. So uh, I ended up running a 448 laser before I left to come to um, Ohio for my pro day. So I was eager to show the scouts that, you know, because um, at pro days, it's on stopwatch. So yeah. I was looking forward to it. But everything happened for a reason. So I really wasn't um, really wasn't too stressed out about it. I knew um, I had the opportunity at the end of the day, and Tampa was able to present that to me. So I'm very thankful for that. And wait to um, attack the opportunity as well. Awesome, great answer. And uh, you mentioned it. You came out of Mac, a highly decorated player, two-time first-time All Team, two-time second team. You had three hundred and eighteen tackles, twenty-six pass breakups, ten tackles for a loss, nine fumble, forced fumbles, six interceptions. So you know you showcased your ability, you know, all over the field. And you know you were all over the field. And what do you think your biggest strength is? And how do you think that's going to translate to the NFL? My biggest strength is definitely watching film. Because that's how I was able to make the plays that I would make. And, uh, you know, Monday through Friday, that's your prepare. That's your, like your prepare week. So I would just take everything one day at a time, you know, when it comes to certain formations and certain packages and personnel. So when it came to Saturday, it would, you know, it would just come to me yeah. just like that, you know. And um, I'm, a, I'm a guy that who, who, who loves to stress preparation. You know, it's good to prepare. So you don't have to prepare at the last minute, you know. So Monday through Friday, I will prepare as much as I can, but not try to overthink anything. And um, I would trust my my coaches to put me in the right position to make a play as well. So I'll basically combine those, and then everything will just showcase on Saturday. And speaking of trusting your coaches, how excited are you for, to play for Todd Bowles, knowing how he uses players and you know versatile schemes? And, you know, you really using them and their strengths in the defense and highlighting that and showcasing that. I'm very, very excited, man. I'm very excited to take on this opportunity. Um, a lot, there are actually some things in the, in, in the packages that's a bit similar to the things that I did in college. Um, not only in the secondary, but the D-line as well as far as uh, certain stunts and things like that. So uh, I'm looking, looking forward to that. You know, playing for him, he is a, he's a great guy by the, by the things that I've read so far. You know, I definitely did my homework mm-hmm. and definitely eager to get out there and listen and be coachable, for sure. Have you had any communication on with him or on what your role is going to be? I, I mean, you're a very versatile player. You can line up in the box, you know, drop back in coverage. You can, you know, you're an aggressive player as well. Do you have any ideas of how Temple wants to use you in a certain role? Or is it still kind of figuring all that out with the uncertainty that's going on right now? Um, they have me at strong safety currently. So okay. I'm just studying studying the things that strong safety does as far as communication and um, the roles mm-hmm. as far as is uh the defense goes okay and uh you're joining a pretty crowded safety room uh including second round pick Antoine Winfield Jr which I see a lot of similarities in your game especially with your versatility um how do you plan to stand out among that group and battle for a spot on this roster and what are your expectations for yourself um just staying in my lane you know making sure that I'm taking care of the things that I'm taking care of uh 
not trying to overstep my boundaries. You know, this is the type of process where you have to you have to crawl before you walk. You know, so I'm not I'm not about to come into you know come come to Tampa just thinking um automatically I should be that guy on the first day. You know, uh, I gotta attack it as much as I can. Uh, special teams is definitely a big thing for me. Um, not only just because of the position that I'm in, but that started my career at Ohio University as well. You know, so I take I take pride in special teams. So, um, like I said, man, I don't want to come in thinking, worrying about this guy and uh, that guy. You know, I'm focused on myself and focused on what I can do to get better, not only for me but for the organization and just trying to find um, key ways to help the team out. You know, because if I can help the team out in numerous amount of ways, then I'll stick around. So. As long as that really happens for me, then there's really no pressure or anything to stress about because uh, at the end of the day, I know what type of player that I am personally. And I know uh, humbleness has got me where I am today. So that should carry on, you know. And uh, like I said, everything happens for a reason, for sure. So I'm looking forward to the opportunity and um, definitely looking forward to being the odds, of course. Yes, awesome. That's a great answer as well. Um, so you're actually from Jacksonville, which is about, what, a three-hour drive from here? Um, how does it feel to come come away in your home state for a chance to compete? And how does that motivate you even more, knowing that you could be playing in Florida? I'm sure you have a lot of family and everything, and it's, it's, like I said, it's not that far of a drive for them to come see you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a, a great opportunity for me just due to the fact that I have a lot of family members up the street, you know. And Ohio is a bit difficult for my family members to come because, I mean, we're – 13 hours away, so, uh, and then even when my mom and my stepdad did come to the games, they would still drive, you know, they never caught a flight or anything, they would drive, so uh, it's, it's it's definitely a great feeling that um, I'm right up the street a bit, and they can drive up three hours compared to 13, and, yeah. you know, being a Florida kid, you know, I love playing in Florida, for sure, um, I hate playing in the cold, Yeah. you know, them, but uh, I mean, if I have to play in the cold, I'm gonna get the job done, of course. But uh, as far as the heat, I'm a, I'm a heat type of guy. Uh, I grew up playing football in Florida. I just I just love the love the humidity here, and I love what Florida has to offer. Absolutely, absolutely. So, who's been your biggest influence, and who do you model your career after? Like, who's your role model for your position? Um, I definitely. Definitely, uh, based my playing style, Jamal Adams. You know, I love the way he's um, aggressive. Yeah. You know, he's very aggressive. He uh, he studies film. You know, I've done my homework on him since he's been at uh, LSU, actually. And he he plays that dog mentality. You know, so I try to model my game after his. You know, because we're about the I think Devil said about the same structure. He's in the box. I'm in the box. The only thing that he does a little bit differently is uh, his, his coach put him in better positions as far as blitzing. Yeah. I didn't really blitz as much in college um, like he's been doing for the Jets and things like that. He actually got a, a strip, a strip, uh, I was going to say a strip sack. He didn't really sack him, but when he came off the blitz and then stripped the ball from Eli and scored, that was pretty yeah. huge. And uh, it's just little things like the way he calls fumbles and the way he hits and um, to certain things that he do, so I like study. I, I study the things that he does, and I try to implement the things that he does to my game to make me a better player. You know, because I like the way that he, um, like I said, he make plays on the field, but it's the things that he does off the field to put him in that position to make the play. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's a tenacious player. Uh, a lot, oh, yeah. a lot of fun to watch too. Um, mm-hmm. How have you been staying in shape, and what have you been doing to you know keep yourself entertained? Uh, I got a trainer here, honestly, so I train with him Perfect. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We try to get it in. I got access to a gym, a personal gym, okay. where I can go in there anytime that I want to. And I also have resources to watch a film, you know, I have resources to the playbook. So I have a lot of things that, that keeps me busy doing this all time because this, uh, this time can either make you or break you, you know. Yeah. It can make you because... It's a lot of people out here that's not really doing anything, you know, that they're using the whole quarantine thing as an excuse to, you know, sit down and not have to do as much. So that gives me a great opportunity to pass up the, the people that's really not doing that that much and um really not staying physically active. <clears throat> so yeah, during this time I mean the grind don't stop for sure. So 
I'm definitely mm-hmm. taking it, taking advantage of it for sure. It's a great opportunity for me, honestly. Absolutely. What have you been doing in your downtime? To like you know, where everyone's stuck in the house. I mean, Florida's starting to loosen up a little bit. What have you been doing in your downtime to just kind of relax and take your mind off football? Man, honestly, football been every day. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome I mean, to hear. I'm, you know, being a being an undrafted player for one, it's a it's a blessing because you get the opportunity. You know, because there's a lot of guys that I personally who still hasn't received the call. So. Yeah. It's great to be in this predicament. So it, it can it can go two ways. We all know that you can either go out there and do what you're supposed to do and earn a spot on the 53, or you can just be just a, a guy, you know, a jag, just a guy, and then ended up getting left alone, you know. So yeah. to be honest, in my in my type of position, I can't really afford to just um, play around, honestly. Yeah. I'm not saying that I'm trying to overload on football, but uh, I'm trying to make sure that I'm in the best possible position, you know, because, for example, you never know, like, all this could be done, all this could be over tomorrow. Yeah. We, we, we probably have to mess around and report, you know, in two days, three days, you know, so you never know. So yeah. I'm just make sure that if we are to report tomorrow or in the next two days or three days that I will feel comfortable and make sure that I'm confident enough to say that, okay, I'm ready to go. Instead of uh, saying, you know, I'm going to take off on football today and just, uh, you know, mess around, uh, lag around. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I played a game here and now. You know, I played like 2K by myself yeah. on my, my player and stuff for like Fortnite here and there. But I'm definitely focusing on football more than those things just because yeah. of what's in front of me. And then, like I said, I look back. And I see all of the guys that I know who don't really have this opportunity. Yeah. You know, so it really wouldn't be fair to just sit around and play with the opportunity when I know that it's guys who would who would die to be in this position. It's guys that I know who didn't get the call and they still work out. Yeah. You know, just only as if they did. So things like that give me a drive and uh it gives me a reason to keep keep staying active and keep staying focused. Hungry, I like that. I like that a lot. Um what do you think about the signing of Tom Brady and then the trade for Gronk? And how do you think going against them in practice will help actually elevate your game as well? Oh, um, that's honestly, it's, it's honestly crazy, you know. I grew up watching watching those guys, you know, as, as a kid. And then as I've grown up and just watched them stay, it's consistent. You know, it's, it's very huge to be in the, the same um, surrounding as them, for sure. Uh... Definitely looking forward to getting better by going against those guys. That's the plan, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but as far as, you know, focusing on them, I'm, I mean, honestly, when everyone talks to me, they'll say, like, uh, you know, you're going to be with Tom Brady and, and, you know, some of the high names. Yeah. I mean, if I don't do what I'm supposed to do, I won't be with them. Yeah. You know, so the plan is to focus on – making a roster mm-hmm. then I can say you know I'm on the team with these guys but as far as right now I'm focusing on what I'm supposed to be doing and making sure that I'm in the right position to make the 53 and help the organization out yeah. you know, and then I can focus on getting Tom Brady back the ball getting Grunt back the ball yeah. taking four you know so uh, but like I said man it's, it's definitely a great feeling to have those type of guys around you know because they're definitely uh they're freaks, man. They're freaks of the game, and they make a lot of plays, man. They're very good at what they're doing. They're very professional. So, yeah. I've like got that around. Now, you said, you know, you've been, you know, into the playbook. How how much of the playbook have you actually received, and how has the virtual cl- classroom been going? Have you been doing a lot of that, or is it mostly, like, weight training or uh, workouts and stuff like that? Or what what has that process been like for you? Oh, uh, yeah, we um, received some installs, a uh, few installs, and... Uh, we also receive workouts as well, so I'll, I'll do the workouts throughout the week, and uh, they also give us Friday off. But I'll step up on my own on Friday, mm-hmm. whatever I feel that I need to work on in the weight room, and that's what I'll do. But as far as the playbook, uh, haven't really received the whole playbook just so we can digest everything. We mm-hmm. so I just um, attack everything slowly and just make sure that I'm understanding the certain plays. 
and uh, knowing where I'm supposed to be at. Mm -hmm. And just to finish things up here, um, what's one thing that Bucks fans should know about Javon Hagan? Um, one thing they should know about Javon Hagan, he's a very, very uh, humble guy, but he'll, he'll he'll get after it too. You know, he's he, he's very hungry. Um, he's been defeating all odds since a kid. You know, he has placed in the best position literally every step of um, his career, starting with Little League. You know, uh, Little League, I was a, uh, you know, Pop Warner. They had a rule where uh, all kids had to get eight plays. So, starting out, I was an eight-play player. And then after the eight plays, I wouldn't see the rest of the field. Oh. That very next year, I ended up being, you know, one of the stars on the team. And then in high school, I was surrounded by uh, a ton of great guys who uh, had tremendous talent. You know, Trinity Christian Academy, one of the best schools in Jacksonville. Yeah. And we had uh, over 10 guys with D1 on offer. So I would literally go into the locker room, see Urban Meyer, Nick Saban, Les oh, Miles, wow. and all the guys. And uh, it, could, it, it, it would feel a bit intimidating just due to the fact that I had so many talented guys around me. Yeah. And I uh, didn't have any offers my senior year of high school going into my senior year, and then I ended up, you know, starting to shine and starting to, starting to feel myself a little more and starting mm -hmm. to play with that, uh, that aggressiveness. And then I ended up picking up about eight or nine offers. So then I overcame that obstacle and then into an Ohio. I was registered the first year, mm -hmm. you know. So that, you know, I never took a year on football. Ball, so that was a challenge for me. But then I ended up becoming one of the best DBs to come out, and also the only DB to become uh, um, on that first team yeah. two years bro, You know, so uh, I honestly made history yeah. at Ohio University, which is uh, which is probably one of the biggest accomplishments there. So um, no matter what happens in my career, I always find a way to get it done. You know, uh, like I said, everything happens for a reason. So. Um, I'm definitely going to come with that chip on my shoulder and be coachable. Anything they need me to do, I'm going to do. They need me to be somewhere. I'll be there five minutes early, so just doing the right things. And that's safety, Javon, uh, Javon Hagan. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best this season uh, and great luck. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for the opportunity as well.